No. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Oh. It's gonna be a long day. Before I start this video, I want to show you guys the commuter speaker by Cove Audio. This is one of the very few, turn it down a little bit, very few products I actually like work with and, and stand behind. I have a discount code, Joe65, gets you 65% off. The speaker's normally like $199, but with my discount code, it drops down to like $60, $70. I've had the JBL, I've had the Beats and all that, they're like $300. You can get three of these for the price of that. Put one in your shower, one in the garage, um, take one with you on the road, and when you mess it up, you have two extra ones. Kind of a no-brainer. Indoor, outdoor mode. So you get a little bit more bass when it's in indoor mode and, and I think outdoors looks a little bit more trebly. It's typically like 60 feet away and it still has no issue connecting to my phone. And it's waterproof, so you want to take it to the shower, you want to take it to the beach, take it to the pool. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend this. So the first link in the description down below, finish watching the video first, uh, but then go click that link. And if you want to support the channel, you want to get yourself a badass product while you're at it. I said in the Jeep video, the Jeep is a hell of an SUV for the money. This is a hell of a speaker for the money. So go check it out. Uh, let's jump into the rest of this video. My buddy Shane, who's is actually standing behind the camera right now, he wants to build a gaming PC. And it just so happens that my computer's a little bit slow. It's not, okay, let me rephrase that. It's fast as shit. Playing like Rocket League, League of Legends, I, I quite frequently see 400 frames per second. Even in Siege, I'm seeing like 100, 150 frames a second. When it comes to gaming, it's about as fast as you could have possibly built. When I'm rendering a video in Premiere and I have After Effects open, I have Cinema 4D doing some kind of render, and then I also want to edit my thumbnail and run a couple consoles in the background and, and compile some code, that's where I hit a little bit of an issue. And you're probably like, Joe, why would you ever want to do all of that at the same time? When your career revolves around waiting for a computer to get something done, even like a couple seconds makes a huge difference for me. So that's the goal today. Uh, Shane, we're going to build him probably one of the best gaming PCs we can for the budget. What's the budget right now? 1500 uh, it was uh, 20, like around 2500 2500 I'm selling them my, my CPU and my motherboard for like 50% off, so that's going to help. Uh, and then we're going to build at the same time, we're going to rebuild my PC and make it what I would say is probably one of the best builds you could do for Premiere and like the Adobe Cloud right now. If you're not into tech, go ahead and skip this video. Everyone else, let's uh, let's go into Micro Center. Should we take the speaker with us? Well, I do love how helpful everyone at Micro Center is. They try to put their sticker on everything and they'd always treat you like you're half -ridden. Whether you know what you're doing or not, someone's going to come up to you and tell you hey, this other part is better and how you forgot about this. And you could put a whole computer build together and some guy will just walk up and like stick a sticker on it and get commissioned because it's like, it, they're like vultures. They see you holding a part. It's like, I need to put a sticker on that. 50 bucks if someone puts a sticker on our shit. 50 bucks. You want to bet that? Yep. Done. I have no idea what color this is. It says well, finish or is it glass? We'll find out at home. Okay. Twenty minutes later. How much was it? A little over. A little over. To be fair, I didn't anticipate him buying a G-Sync monitor. If you didn't buy that, I was almost within a hundred dollars without even checking, which is kind of impressive. Like just grabbing parts. Really weird characters in there as well. I'm not gonna get into it, but like, you hear that guy? Him and his wife were like talking about. I don't even know. Like what he was saying was so outrageous. Basically, the size of of her orifices if I had to be scientific about it. And then on the way out, there was like three guys talking about their moonshine being 195 proof and how he almost passed out last night from drinking his moonshine. Like we're in Houston, where the fuck are we? All right, let's go eat and then let's put all of this together, which is gonna suck. Little change of plans, Max is now my cameraman. Shane had to step out. Still gonna build his machine for him. Max is gonna make us food, huh? That's yep. what you're doing? Yeah. Chef Max, yeah. So not only am I building one computer, I'm building two computers. And the interesting part is the motherboard and processor out of this thing it's gonna go in Shane's build. I'm gonna put the new i9 10 core, like the latest and greatest. Uh, I went with the 10 core over the 14 core because it's a higher clock speed. So I still get the benefits and after effects and stuff while still having like 20 threads. So I should get my desired effect and a new motherboard to house that. Should I go over the parts for this one? Do you guys care? Yeah, I'm just quick, quick, quick. Think they care? A little bit. Look, 2070 graphics card, uh, 8086 processor and motherboard out of that thing. Uh, terabyte SSD because he didn't really care about going NVMe. 
16 gigs RGB RAM, uh, an H100 Pro cooler, 750 watt power supply, some little LEDs to go with the rest of the build. Uh, then he wants, he, his request was to put this pop inside of its case. We're gonna see if we can make that work. Quick disclaimer, this is not gonna be a tutorial on how to do this. If you follow along, you can probably figure it out by yourself, but you can Google or YouTube a full tutorial on this. Uh, also, some of you guys are gonna give me shit because I'm not wearing a static wristband thing. Every time I do anything computers, everyone's like, oh my God, what are you gonna do? If I happen to fry something with static electricity, I'll go buy another one, don't worry about it. Really, I should be taking everything apart and reinstalling it in there, but I'm gonna attempt like some open heart surgery here. I'm gonna attempt to take the motherboard processor and cooler out as one unit so I don't have to do all this reseeding and shit in that one. Probably a terrible idea, but we're gonna see. You know, I vaguely remember being in this exact same position yesterday and saying something along the lines of It's gonna be a long day. And it was. Uh, I know I kind of skipped forward a day here, but I woke up at like 7 a.m. yesterday, drove uh, to the office to help Max shoot some promo video. Then I had to drive to Rosenberg, Texas, which is about 25, 30 minutes each way to literally take one photo of something because I couldn't find anybody there that was able to do it for me. Then drove to Houston, realized I forgot my wallet back in Rosenberg, drove back to Rosenberg, then drove to Sugarland to pick up my friend Shane, uh, and then went to Micro Center. And even though I got up early yesterday, I feel like I spent probably 80% of the day driving around doing nothing. Super unproductive. Uh, on top of that, put two computers together at the same time was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be, especially not to film all the angles. So I know there was probably a lot of clips missing. So Shane's PC build went fine. He was playing games on it last night, like it's all ready to go. My PC on the other hand was a, a different story. Uh, new processor, new motherboard. Every time I went to install Windows on my machine, it would throw a blue screen as soon as it would get to like Windows install getting devices ready. And when it would stop right there, it would actually cancel the install. I'd have to reformat the hard drive and fresh install Windows all over again. And it would just keep doing the same process. I was stuck in this loop of a blue screen. Super, super, super annoying. I spent like three or four hours last night um, reading up on it and finally figured out the motherboard I bought has a shitload of networking stuff built in. It has a Wi-Fi card, a Bluetooth chip, all, all kinds of shit. And I finally just went to the BIOS, turned everything off that wasn't necessary, unplugged my keyboard and mouse while it was installing and it went fine and then I turned everything back on and now we're good to go. So without further ado, here's the final product. Uh, here's my current build for 2019. <laughs> And that is the 2019 setup. I know I just did a video over like my desk setup, but I figured I, I didn't really go through like all the parts and didn't show you guys the actual PC build. Um, I've been running a lot of these components for like a year. I just didn't do a video. It's on my IGTV actually, the original build of this machine. If you guys really want to see me put the entire machine together, go check it out. But the desk is coming together. By the way, I, I said I'd update you guys. These Atom audio speakers, I do like them more than my old Yamahas. The high end is a little bit better. And since I have the sub, I don't really, I don't need a lot of bass from them. Also on a daily basis, Max tries to tell me that his setup, this ugly heap of crap is better than my setup. This beautiful, precise workstation. And he put a poll on his Instagram and, and of course his followers are like, yeah, we love your setup. The big screens are awesome. Who the fuck wants a game on 32 inch monitors? Like, like he's playing and he has to like turn his head to look around. Like this is the perfect setup. There's gonna be a poll up here so I can put this to sleep. I would have shot this at night obviously with all the RGBs, 
My computer's fully RGB'd out because it's 2019 and if you don't support rainbows, then you're a racist. So fully supporting rainbows on my channel, in case you're wondering. Also, don't judge me on the wire management. I'm gonna rip apart this entire build after I edit this video. It's one of the first videos that I've filmed and posted the same day, so if you're watching this, Happy Thursday. Um, I'm gonna edit this video on this PC. If you guys are watching this video, then that means it's stable and it, and it rendered out a video, no problem. But don't judge me on my wire management. This desk is not complete. Um, obviously, I need to hang those LED lights in the background. All these wires back here need to be redone. I'm gonna take the entire desk apart tonight uh, and rerun all of these wires one by one zip time so you won't see any wires and it should be a lot cleaner. I'll post a picture on Instagram once it's all done. Uh, also, quick update, fourth phase, which is the software development company I started, I talked about a little while ago is killing it. Uh, we are gonna add pricing and like some more info on the website because while most of you guys are awesome, I've gotten probably like 40 or 50 emails that are like, I have an idea for an app, here's my phone number, how much would it cost? I, I don't have the time to call 50 people to find out about an app idea they had. Not to mention they don't know anything about it and what it takes to build an app. Um, they're probably expecting like $500 and then you hit them at 20 grand and they're like, wait, what? So we're gonna put a lot more info on the website to try to eliminate some of that, as well as like base pricing. A lot of people reach out and they don't understand that apps cost a lot of money. You have to build your backend and your API to deal with the data. You gotta do a web front end, you gotta do an app. Like there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just, I have an idea for an app, build it and, and let's launch it on the app store. There's a lot more in the background. So we're gonna be doing a lot more like tutorials and stuff on fourth phase. I am starting to stream more. Um, something I'm gonna start streaming is like coding projects. Like I have a little script I need to write right now. I can't show you guys this one because it's, it's not illegal, but it's it's kind of frowned upon, so I'm not gonna show you this one. Uh, but next time I do anything like this, I will stream the entire thing. You guys can like follow along and watch and ask questions. That's gonna be it for this video. This weekend's gonna be some more car content. So if you don't care about tech, don't worry. Next video is gonna be back to cars. Um, click that Cove link down below. Get yourself a speaker, support the channel. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.